Hello and welcome to myminimaths.co.uk video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the Arithmetic 16 question 25 practice question where we're going to be adding and subtracting pairs of fractions. So the first question, which is question 25a, is 4 sixths subtract 1 third. First thing we need to do is make sure these two denominators are the same. We call these common denominators. Now the easiest way to do this is to change the 3 into 6, which will match the first fraction. Now, to do this, what we've done is we've multiplied the 3 by 2 to get the 6. So we need to do the same with the top, the numerator, to get 2, and then we're subtracting them. So 4 sixths take away 2 sixths gives us a final answer of 2 over 6. And don't forget, this can be simplified to one third or any other equivalent fraction, of course. And next, we're looking at question 25b, which is three tenths. And this time we're adding one fifth. Now, the same as before, we need to make these two numbers, these two denominators at the bottom, equal. We call them common denominators. So we're going to change the five by multiplying it by 2 into 10. Of course, this remains the same on the left-hand side. And then we need to multiply the numerator at the top by the same as the denominator here. So it gives us 2. Now, if we look at this as a picture, we can have 5 squares by 2 squares. That's 10 squares altogether. And... If we look at the first fraction, which is 3 out of the 10, and we're going to add that to the 2 out of 10, we get a final answer of 5 out of 10, or a half. Next is question 25c, which is 1 third, and we're subtracting 2 twelfths. Now, same as before, we need to make sure that these two denominators are equal. They are common to each other. So if I multiply this 3 by 4 to get 12, so it matches the other side. Numerator there stays the same. And if I multiply my top numerator by the same as the bottom denominator, which will equal 4, I can then arrive at 4 twelfths minus 2 twelfths gives us 2 twelfths or one-sixth in its simplest form. And finally is question 25D, which is three-eighths. And we're adding that to one-quarter. As before, we need to make sure our two denominators are equal. They are common to each other. So we're going to make them both into eight. So I've multiplied this denominator by 2, so I need to make sure I multiply its numerator by exactly the same amount, which is 2, so 2 goes at the top. This remains the same, so we have 3 eighths plus 2 eighths, giving us a total of 5 eighths. Thank you very much for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye.